Welcome to Saw Logs Plastic Hubs. This video will be whatever project I'm working on. And I don't do a separate, sometimes I do a separate openings for them, sometimes I don't. Again, it's just a summer opening and uh, I just wanted to throw one out there. And we'll blend it in. It's probably when I get a chance to sit down and do some videos. Um, a lot of upcoming things that you're going to be seeing on these videos of uh, summer projects or whatnot. Well, once I kind of get back into shop for summer right now that has been occupied a lot. So I hope you uh, enjoy the channel, enjoy the videos, and subscribe and follow. So just jump right on in there. to do this I've got the GoPro this video is where I've been painting the shop and I ain't destroying painting but I'm just showing kind of the results um, this is another thing that's been on the to-do list it's gotten warm enough to go to paint and even though the grandchildren's here I've managed to carve out my painting time and if I'd have done this the right way and lesson learned go get an air sprayer I could have probably done it one day real fast and got it done a complete day so it's done finished and behind me. Uh, the whole building ended up with two coats and I hope you enjoy these clips of where I've been working on the paint project. we'll get back to machining I've got projects this I needed to get the shop in order you know these maintenance jobs we have to do hope you enjoy the video I started painting today, and you can see up under the eaves, what I'm doing is like the eaves and stuff, and trying to get that coated, and a little bit down on the siding, so we're just going to paint the outer pieces of this too, by the way, not the inner, it's probably a, a two coat job, because some of this stuff because it is not painting i've got you see the section that i've got around here last update painting update i'm still working i'm having to do this whoops i left my lights on i'm gonna give him some building keys um painting update i uh been painting along and didn't get the paint as long this morning i had a doctor's appointment right after lunch and so I've got about this far at the top looks like to me at the minimum is going to be a two coat paint job I'm afraid everywhere not just in this OSB and stuff because this doesn't look good this is what I painted yesterday you can see how it's sort of right then and I just don't get it well, I guess we're going to have to paint at least the upper parts twice. Maybe the darn sides too. Not what I wanted. But, got to do it. Well, here's the painting update. I've got all the E's first coat. And I finished painting the door to the building out the first coat. So it's going to have to have at least a second. Uh, we're going to spray it. I done made a decision when the ball of hair is. So this is too much. The time, because time is much time to be consumed in having to paint the grooves to get what I painted in the siding to look half right. I've had to really work on painting the grooves. So we're going to airless this sucker. I'm just going to, with these two windows, I'm just going to hang tarps over them. And just kind of face them in with staples. Take them up. So I can pull them up. Well, we painted this morning. I went to see Molly's birthday today on the 20th. And I got to redo these. I'm going to try to do as much as I can airless the rest of the way out. Probably the first things up is cover up the windows. Get the stuff off the door. Get the stuff down. It can still be got down and moved out of the way. And have at it. Tomorrow. That's the plan. Okay, folks. Oh, excuse me. This is a uh, Harbor Freight brand airless sprayer. And before the trolls get started, 
I ain't planning on using this but maybe once or twice or maybe three times at the most. So what I'm going to do is basically use this to finish painting this building because it's become a pain in the rump and there's just so much stuff. So my decision here is to paint with, I'm going to use this because I need to speed the process up get this over with. So I uh, just went by Harbor Freight and picked this up, and I'm going to use it to finish my painting project out here in the shop. And uh, I'll, I'll finish unboxing. And I just kind of got a look, quick look at it, and so that way I'll be able to paint this, use this thing to paint with, and hopefully clean it up and get enough to use for my homeowner use. If I only get the one building out of it, it'd be worth the 200 bucks. It's a little cheaper than buying one from Lowe's, and I just decided that, that it's a smart thing to do is just go ahead and get this over with and buy it. So this is what we're going to do, and uh, we're going to use it and see how it works. So we're going to clean this thing out and you know try to take care of it, try to get homeowner use out of it. I don't believe I'd want to buy one of these to be a painter. But for what I'm going to do with it, I think it'll be just fine. That way if I can get this building finished, I'll be really happy. And also there's some tarps here. The plan is to take this A, a tarp. I got nothing. But take this A tarp out home and cut it. And I'm just going to staple it around my windows. Take everything out. Move the air compressor out the back. And shoot this thing and be done with it. So hopefully I can get it done maybe today and uh, Thursday and Friday and finish this job up so I can get back in the shop. And you're going to be on video going to follow along. So enjoy. Okay. This is the building cleaning and painting update finale, I guess. I'm going to... I'm not going to video or show when I go back and put stuff around the bottom like it was. Uh, there the sprayer come, worked good. The second one. Actually got one this morning, wouldn't even start. So we have finished. You notice everything's a nice, what they call Churchill vanilla. Had to go back and actually get five more gallons of paint and used about four gallons of it. So there's about approximately nine gallon of paint on this building. The building hadn't been painted in good many years. I've hung everything back. You'll notice I've got my air reels, some of this stuff I took off, and all that good stuff all the way around the shop. Thank God the paint job has done. So. You've seen my earlier videos where I used the front of the shop as an opening. You can see quite a dramatic difference that the paint made. So everything looks nice and fresh on the outside. We've done the inside. But this is one of them things we got to do sometimes. And um, We'll just live with it right there. I mean, I'm sort of proud of how it turned out. It's got some runs in it. Uh, I'm not the greatest painter, Airless's art, but we got it on there. Actually, in, in messy as I thought it was going to be, you know, it's for the household, you know, for this type of painter. Um, it's just a little difficult. And like I say, if you'll notice I painted up under the eaves and along all the boards too. Main reason behind that is that's OSB board and this building is not boxed. And I'm not spending the expense to box it. I've got approximately $200 just in paint alone. I count 218 to my painter and a few other things. So, I mean, I've got about $400 in this paint job. And, uh, this, well, you know, the paint's expensive. Went back and it's, it was on sale. So. 
ice five gallon wasn't near as bad as the first. So now I think that'll hold us another 20 years. I hope. So we're all painted up now. And I think I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna try to do this. I've got the GoPro. This video is where I've been painting the shop. And I ain't destroying painting, but I'm just showing kind of the results. Um, this is another thing that's been on the to-do list. It's gotten warm enough to go to paint. And even though the grandchildren's here, I've managed to carve out my painting time. And if I'd have done this the right way and lesson learned, go get an air sprayer. I could have probably done it one day real fast and got it done. A complete day. So it's done, finished, and behind. Uh, the whole building ended up with two coats. I hope you enjoy these clips of where I've been working on the paint. We'll get back to machining. I've got projects. This, I needed to get the shop in order. You know, these maintenance jobs we have to do. Hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video, uh, whatever we've done today, because usually I shoot a close and, and put together a montage at the end, so this is usually my way of saying thank you. Now, if I haven't said it enough, I will say it. Every subscriber I've got, I appreciate. Appreciate every view I get. Now, do we have the big channel? No. Do we want to have a big channel? Well, I'd be stupid saying I wouldn't be a little jealous if I didn't, but my mode of making these videos isn't to get rich. It is to have fun. So those along come along enjoy the videos and have fun with me, I appreciate it. But please do share it with your friends if, if they're not subscribers. And, you know, Bring them over here and let us look at another, somebody else is doing this. You know, I'm a career machinist, but, and I've always liked to make things. So when I've retired, now I really have more plenty of time. Right now, you know, we've been kind of busy with some house projects and stuff, so that's slowed us up here for the last several months. But I hope you enjoy the videos, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. Again, please subscribe. Please tell your friends, and if you are a subscriber, thank you so very much. Have a great day, and we will see you in the next video when I make another one.